Everybody, hey, it's Rick Silva. I'm going to do a live impromptu. Didn't even uh, plan to do this. I'm going to do a real quick uh, live elevator speech, elevator pitch critique for Cheryl. And Cheryl, I have not read it. I have not looked at one word. You're going to hear my thoughts as I go through the critique of your elevator pitch. I'll make some corrections. I'll probably have a little bit of work you need to do to with some corrections. So let's put it up on the screen. Again, I have not read this elevator pitch. It's on my screen. I'm reading it for the first time right now. Here's a live critique on how I go through and break down elevator pitches. So part one is your name. You got it. Part two is your company name. And uh, you didn't put that in there. So I'm going to make a recommendation to put company name. You don't have to have it. I'm just giving you ideas. <clears throat> I specialize in residential real estate in here in uh, Northern California. Also, when doing business with me, my clients benefit in some of the following ways, maximizing their profits when selling their properties by negotiating the highest price. Awesome. Uh, 1031's awesome. Uh, locking in homes for buyers using aggressive strategies, not just money. Love it. Helping investors make good decisions on properties. Now, just to back off for a second, one, I always remember the elevator pitch should be between 160 and 180 words. If we look down here, I'll blow this up real quick. If we look down here in the bottom left-hand corner, it's 201 words minus mine. So, and minus this, it's probably 190 words, which is a little long, uh, but I, I, I already can see by looking at the bottom how I'm gonna shorten it for you and give you a whole bunch more real estate to work with. Oh, pun not intended, give you more real estate to work with. So, how we're gonna set up, so part one is your name and company name. Part two is what you do. Part three are the benefits. Part four is the most important part, what a good client is. Now, you can see you have it repeated here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these three sentences. And again, guys, just so you know, I never read this. I've just critiqued thousands and thousands of elevator pitches. I can see it as soon as I look at it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go a perfect client for me is if you're here a homeowner and then I'm going to go comma first time buyer comma investor say any of the following. So we're going to set this up with bullet points. So I'm taking this out because it's repeated. We try not to repeat in an elevator pitch. Perfect client for music here and investors say it. We're going to go like this. We're going to bomb that out. We're going to take this space. We're going to take this space out. We're going to go a perfect client for music. If you hear a homeowner, a first time uh, buyer, an investor say any of the following colon. Now, this is very good for those of you who are watching this recording. Um, it has to say my, I, or we, or our. They does not fire the reticular activating system. So we're going to change this one to fire the reticular activating by making it first person. So a perfect client for me is a homeowner, first time home buyer or investor who said uh, investor who says sorry, any of the following. And this is going to say, I need to sell. And it has to be specific, my home, but I don't know where to start. We don't need to have or because we set it up by saying this is what they're going to say. I have a rental property I want to get rid of. Excelente. I wonder if it's a good time to buy. We're going to remove all the ors because it's word real estate. See, we're already down to 180. If we look at the bottom left-hand corner, we're already down to 180 words. Okay. I want to buy a house. I don't know where to start. I don't even get qualified for a mortgage. Love it. I wonder if it's a good time to buy or sell. That's right here. So I'm going to change this one to or sell. And now we just freed up more, more real estate because that one has been repeated. I need to do a 1031 exchange. Awesome. I hate being a landlord. Awesome. The one, the one of the ones I use, it's on the back of my business card. Um, I'm sick of tenants, toilets, termites, troubles, and taxes. 
So now you have a lean and clean 167 minus one, two, three, four, five. You have 162 word elevator pitch. So what we did, we freed up word real estate to add more quotes. And also I recommend adding your company name here, Cheryl. That's why I'm leaving it in yellow. So let's read your elevator pitch live and in color. Hey everybody, my name is Cheryl, uh, Cheryl Cardam on real estate broker. I specialize in residential real estate here in California. When doing business with me, my clients benefit in some of the following ways. Maximizing their profits when selling their properties by negotiating highest price, educating them on the benefits of tax relief laws, 1031 exchanges, driving costs down. Awesome. Locking in homes for buyers using aggressive strategies, not just money. I like that because I don't know what you mean on that last part and it makes me curious. Helping investors make good decisions on income properties. Love it. A perfect client for me is if you hear a homeowner, first time buyer or investor say any of the following, I need to sell my home, but don't know where to start. I have a rental property I want to get rid of. I wonder if it's a good time to buy or sell. I want to buy a house and I don't know where to start. How do I even get qualified for a mortgage? I need to do a 1031 exchange. I hate being a landlord. Cheryl, that was an unbelievably good first run. The only correction I have now is you might want to consider putting your name in there. If you'd like an elevator uh, pitch critique by me, I've done thousands of them. It's 99 bucks, one referral away. It's it's one referral away at gmail.com. The web, website is one referral away.com and YouTube channel, one referral away. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Cheryl, here it comes. Take care.